Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. Today we're looking at what it means to be a modern dad. Could you check on the boys? They're fine. That's not it. I thought you said the bunny philosophy was to lie. It is, son. I'm lying to your mother right now. Yeah. Nope, that's not it either. He told me you killed me. No, I am your father. Nope, that's not it either. Hey, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. Also, it really helps us spread our message when you share these videos. So if you know some people that might enjoy it, please share it with them. Now, with this list, I'm speaking primarily from an American point of view, as that's my frame of reference. But for those of you that are not American, I would love to get your feedback on what it means to be a modern dad in your culture. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. So, number one, being present. Modern dads are involved in their child's life. From the time that they are born, they are changing diapers, doing feeding times, bath times, etc. And then they support them as they grow and involved in their school and their activities. Modern dads are present. Back in the day, this involvement or presence was primarily moms. You know, mom took care of the house and did everything involving the kids while dad worked. You know, it's funny, when I had my first child, this older gentleman that I knew had come up to me and said, you know, congratulations. He said, I didn't change one diaper with all four of my kids. And he was seemingly proud of this. Modern dads change diapers and want to spend time and be present with their children. According to Pew Research, and this was back in 2016, fathers were spending about eight hours per week in childcare. Now, this was triple the amount that it was in 1965. So I can imagine even within the last couple of years, that number has increased. Fathers are spending even more time with their kids. A big part of the shift is millennial dads. That's uh, people born from 1980 to 1994. Millennial dads are spending more time with their kids. And so that shift that we're seeing, a big part of that shift is because of millennial dads. Number two, it's not just about you. A modern dad understands that the world, well, more specifically his home, is not just about him. It's really about the collective family. You know, in previous generations, everybody catered to the patriarch. It was all about him, and he acted that way. A modern dad is more supportive, is helpful, and is also, most importantly, empathetic towards the rest of his family. Being empathetic means that you put yourself in somebody else's place. You're gonna look at situations from their perspective. And as the dad of the house, you know what this means? You are not always right. Modern dads care about the opinions of others and take other people's input. It's not just about you. Number three, communication. Instead of burying feelings, sweeping things under the rug, or you know, arguing and then hibernating for a couple of days, a modern dad communicates. A modern dad's not afraid to communicate how he feels. He talks about his, his issues that he might have or communicates about the problems that are occurring to try to solve them. And he's gonna do that with both his partner and his children. And a modern dad knows that one of the most important things in communication is listening. So a modern dad listens to his kids and actually hears them. You know, in the past, a child's voice and what they said was really unimportant. You know, people really didn't care what the child had to say. But a modern dad is different. A modern dad listens to their kids. You know, they want to create a closer bond, and as a result, they listen to them, they're supportive, and they try to solve problems through communication. In addition to communicating with kids, a modern dad communicates with his partner. Of course, for all the reasons we would think, but one of the most important reasons is to set an example. He's setting an example for his children. And so those children are watching you, they are listening to you, and they see how you communicate with your partner. So how you solve problems, how you argue, 
how you communicate in general is being watched and heard. The next thing about being a modern dad, number four, it's 50-50 with your partner. Whether it's decision-making or responsibilities around the house, modern dads know that they are equals with their partner. It is 50-50. And the other important part of that is that their children also see them as equals. Certainly there are things that you specialize in or things that your partner specializes in. But in the general sense, you both feel you are equal and your children see you that way. You know, a modern dad is not threatened by the power of his spouse. He is empowered by it. The I'm the man of this house bravado or the wife saying, you wait till your father gets home does not happen in the house of a modern dad. Number five, healthy mind and body. A modern dad cares about his health, both his physical health and his mental health. You know, he's going to exercise regularly, watch what he eats, and look for opportunities to improve his mindfulness. Not only does a modern dad do these things because he wants to feel good, he does these things to be an example for his child. Now you take eating. He's going to be an example, you know, having a diet that's low in sugar and, you know, eating healthy foods. Now, it's not that you can't have things that are bad, but you also have to teach your children moderation. And that's what a modern dad does. You know, indulgence is the exception, not the rule. It's the same with exercise. Showing your child movement is important. And modern dads understand that. They exercise, whether it's playing sports, just going for a walk, or if you do like weightlifting or yoga or some other form of exercise. Showing your children that exercise needs to be a part of your life. And for modern dads, it is. And then there's mindfulness, which the dads of the past certainly didn't practice it and most were not aware of it. Being mindful is being aware of your thoughts and feelings, but without judgment. It's, you know, sort of understanding your surroundings and your state of being. Practicing mindfulness can be meditation or breathing exercises, but you don't have to practice those things to be mindful. You know, modern dads are more present and being present is part of mindfulness. It certainly doesn't hurt if you practice those other things, but it's not a requirement. Number six, work-life harmony. Nobody on their deathbed ever said, I should have spent more time at the office. Instead, they say I should have spent more time with the people I loved and the things I love doing. Modern dads understand that work is important, but it is not the only thing. Previous generations seem to think that work was the most important thing for dads. That's what they did. But then they begin to realize that as a result of working so much, they missed out on their children's lives. And you can't get that time back. Modern dads are figuring out ways to have work-life harmony. You know, how can I thrive in my professional life, but also thrive in my personal life? This is what modern dads are seeking and they're finding ways to do it. Number seven, legacy. Like our number two, when it's not just about you, legacy has great consideration for others. Legacy is about what impact am I going to make while I'm here on earth? Modern dads want to leave a legacy. How can I help my family? my community, my country, or even the world? How can I make the situation for others better than when I found it? I think there is a shift with this idea of legacy. Millennial dads, you know, they care about the environment and the community. And I think millennial dads are part of this shift. Modern dads wanna positively impact those around them and leave a legacy when they're gone. How do you want to be remembered? Being a modern dad does mean something. You're closer with your children, you're trying to make more of an impact in this world, and you're ultimately living a more fulfilling life than previous generations. I would love to hear from you. How would you define the modern dad? Leave your feedback in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, you don't wanna miss what we have for you in our other videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. Also, if you know some people that might enjoy this video, please share it with them. We'll see you next time.